it looked like a real gun, but it only shoots BBs. Of course, it is a type of gun. Nonetheless, four Franklin High School students are in big trouble tonight for having that weapon inside the school. Nine on your side is Tom McKee is live with new information on this investigation. Tom, a lot of people concerned. They are indeed. We had told that one student brought the gun into the school. Three others passed it around. Now, nobody on the staff knew at the time that it was a BB gun, but you can see from this picture, it really looks like the real deal. The case was cracked, of course, when two students came forward to report what was going on. Wednesday began normally at Franklin High School, but that changed quickly when two students walked into the office. They overheard a conversation in the hallway where they thought they heard that somebody was in the possession of a, of a gun. Superintendent Mike Sanders says the crisis plan was put into effect right away. Franklin police were notified and school leaders at first hit dead ends as they searched student records. Right around lunchtime, another student came forward with some more information that ultimately led to allowing the administration to find out who actually did have possession of a BB gun. The BB gun looked real, very, very real to everyone involved. One student had the the idea to bring it to school, um, and, and it ended up uh, being passed around to uh, three other students. So uh, the, gun, the, the BB gun was actually in the hands of four different individuals during the course of the day. Superintendent Sander, though, had nothing but praise for the students who came forward. It takes more courage to come and do what's right than to go with the flow. And uh, those two students really uh, made a stand saying, you know, this is unacceptable and we're not going to tolerate it in our school. Now, the four students who actually handled the gun could face a 10-day suspension and a recommendation for expulsion of up to a year. Franklin police, though, are investigating the possible criminal charges here, and they haven't decided yet that those charges might be filed. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Franklin.